Welcome to Under the Hood Podcast. In this podcast, we pop the hood and give you an inside look at the hows and whys of our ministry here at Cornerstone Church. I'm Michael Knave, your host. Today, I have the privilege of welcoming Jason Tanner, who leads everything First Steps at Cornerstone. Jason, it's great to have you here today. Thanks for having me here today. And and the reason I am so excited about this conversation of First Steps is like this is how we help people figure out how to get in, how to get involved, who we are, where we're going, like to make a home here in their faith family. And then not just for us who are still trying to figure it out. This is like helpful to those of us who've invited a friend or when others ask, hey, I don't feel connected yet. How do I do that? First Steps is an incredible tool that we have to offer. But before we do all things First Steps, Jason, give us a give us an introduction of you because you you have like another job and family and life. Jason, who are you? Sure. Thank you for that introduction. So. Jenny and I started here in 2019 at yeah. Cornerstone, so we've been around for a little while mm-hmm. now. We brought our four kids, McCormick, Reese, Scarlett, and Beckett, <laughs> and of course, they're just all over the lobby and having a great time in um, elementary and some of those yeah. different activities as well. I actually teach full-time at John A. Logan College. I've been there since 2006, so I love what I do. I love helping others mm-hmm. in that environment as well and educating those students along the way. As, as as you know, I say in First Steps every time, we are huge fans personally of John A. College. Right. Love having that great resource right here in Southern Illinois. Mm-hmm. Our kids have just one by one been working their way through John A. So yes. thank you for your ministry there, and thank you for your ministry here. Uh, so, hey, you m- mentioned wife, family, work life. I mean, oh my goodness, you've got enough stuff going on. What in the world makes it worth your time to invest in First Steps? Like, What's your why? What's your passion behind First Steps for you personally? So I am um, true and through a people person. I love meeting people where they are and engaging with those folks and connecting with them, just trying to help them along the way. And First Steps is a great tool to be able to do that in their journey with Christ. Um, I love the fact that we're able to build community through first steps and integrate them into the culture here at Cornerstone in a variety of ways. So it's just so fulfilling for me as a person because I just love seeing people move forward in their journey. Oh, you are you are such a blessing. Your your big smile and your joy that is infectious of of helping people really get plugged into the life of our church. Um, so go ahead and and give us kind of the. I guess the philosophy, what, like, why do we call it first steps? What, what's behind it? We, we talk about Worship Connect Serve. Like, give us a little bit of what's going on behind first steps, and then we'll talk about experience, like what, what people can expect when they come. Sure. So first steps is just a great first step yep. for our folks that are here at Cornerstone. We actually encounter a variety of different individuals, though. Some are really new to mm-hmm. our culture here at Cornerstone. Yes. Like, they've been here for two or three weeks. But then we have those folks that have maybe been here for two or three years, and they're just now getting acclimated and Mm -hmm. and ready to get involved. So um, we've gone through some retooling of First Steps over the past few years, and we actually relabeled it First Steps Mm -hmm. intentionally because these are First Steps for those individuals. This this isn't the last step by any means. It's just to help them get integrated here. It, it always blesses me and surprises me when we're, we're having that discussion. I'll say, hey, how long you been hanging around Cornerstone? Yes. And regularly, there are people in First Steps who have been there two weeks, mm-hmm. sometimes three weeks. And then there's also folks who would say, hey, uh, it's been a minute. We've been here right. a few years or we're here and then life took them away and they're back. Uh, and so no matter how long you've been at Cornerstone, if, if you're a place of saying, you know what, I'm not yet engaged in this uh, in this community, in my faith community, it is a great tool for, for all of us in that. And, and so I, I really appreciate how you and your team lead through an experience of, of these first three steps mm-hmm. uh, of, of 
serving here? Like, what's it look like to actually use the gifts and talents that that I've been given to serve here, to be connected here, to have community, and then to worship here? Like, big picture, what what, what is Cornerstone about? So go ahead and, and kind of give us an inside look. What happens to me or my friend that I encourage to go to First Steps? What do you do to me when I show <laughs> sure. up? Yeah, so it's it's really a fun, engaging experience for everyone that comes through. Mm-hmm. So for those folks that get to pre-register, we actually have them complete an inventory just to get their assessment so they're a little bit better prepared whenever they come through the process. So whenever they first come in the doors, they're greeted, they're welcomed. It's a, a very informal environment. Um, we go through a lot of different phases during First Steps. And what I mean by that is we start off with a lot about serving and what does that look like here at Cornerstone. Mm-hmm. We sort of pull the curtain back and let those individuals take a look behind the scenes as well. So they all get to meet with ministry leaders and do a behind the scenes tour. And that's kind yeah. of cool because folks don't don't always think about what goes on behind the worship center or what goes into that setting every weekend. So they're always amazed at how many people it takes to pull a weekend service right, off. Right. So that's really fun. So they get to like walk literally behind the stage and then yes. circle around, meet meet technicians and kids workers and experienced team directors. Yeah. Like you get to see, and, and it is kind of a, a fan favorite of, of going through the first step. So you, you get the tour, you get to meet people, you get to see, okay, what does this really look like? Okay. Right, right. So we get to do all of those things. And then whenever we come back, then we, the, one of the best parts is we give a free lunch <laughs> to yeah. everyone that comes yeah. through. So they always enjoy that. And then we get to meet with our group's director. Mm -hmm. And so we get to learn about what it means to connect with others and what groups are available. And we even walk them through that process of, hey, you go to our website, you log on here, you take a look at different options. And we're always looking for ways to build that. So we're always looking for feedback from our individuals that come through First Steps as well. Like, hey, what can we offer you? What are you looking for? What types of groups would be engaging to you as individuals? So that's cool, too, because we get to learn more about the individuals that are sitting in the room. I love love how you do that because it is daunting to go from a chair in a worship center Mm -hmm. to somebody's like living room or meet them, you know, someplace like that is huge. Uh, That's a hard step. And you guys make it very easy, simple. Hey, here's your next step. And, And I really enjoy seeing some of the conversations. People actually connect in first steps. They like yes. meet people and like, wait a minute, I knew it's you back in cool. the day or wait a minute, aren't you related to? And and so fun conversations where the church suddenly shrinks in size right. and it becomes personal. You know, it becomes intimate in that way. And I, I really enjoy seeing people, people connect there. Yes, absolutely. And then we sort of round out the day with meeting you um, and you get to share your information, your history with Cornerstone, yeah. what led you here. We get to talk about the history of Cornerstone itself. What does worship look like? Um, it's just a really neat way to to end the day because those questions that people may have, they get to ask those and get those answered. And, mm-hmm. and you and I get to have conversations with folks even afterwards. And that's always fun too, because we just we just get to connect a little bit more with the individuals that come through. Yeah, as as you and I say regularly, um, we want to make sure that nobody has uh, regret. Like the right. last thing we would want to happen is somebody get involved at Cornerstone sure. to make, take a, a step of membership, and then a year later say, "Oh, if I had known that," or "This doesn't fit me like I thought it would." Mm-hmm. Like we, we want to throw the cards on the table, make sure they're face up, and say, "Hey, here's who we are." Here's what God has called us to do. Here's what we know. Here's what we're still trying to figure out. And and even in the the whole afternoon, we get to celebrate some other great churches in the region. We get to celebrate our heritage, where we came from, other churches we're connected with. And so it's just a really neat conversation where we say very clearly, what we most want for you is for you to find your church. Whatever that is, we're a little biased. We love what God's doing (laughs) here. And more than that, we want you to be in a place where you can serve and be connected and be part of of a church where where you are vibrant uh, and you are sharing what God has given you uh with with others as well. Uh, w- when you and I talked before before now uh one of the things you quickly said is I want I want to tell a couple stories because it yes. it works. Like this is life giving to to our people. So when when you say that first steps works. G- give me give me some examples. Sure. So we have a couple, Mike and Patty, they served as table hosts for a while. They went through first steps. 
phenomenal couple and mm. um, just really they just really engaged with their group whenever they went through first steps yes. but then we were able to pull them in and get them involved and plugged in in a different type of ministry setting uh through table host leaning and so they were really connected with the individuals on a weekly basis whenever we were running first steps from week to week so you're saying that that when 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 i come to first steps like i'm actually going to sit and talk with people and meet yes. people and learn names and all of that Absolutely. and so somebody who came through first steps got involved in first steps right okay right Great. which was such a cool thing to to be able to see them to do that a few months ago we had a group of young ladies that went through together oh, yes i remember that and so so that was fun to see them not just connect with one another on a deeper level, but connect with some other folks as well. Mm -hmm. I remember they connected with Brenda, who was, um, you know, a little bit older. She mm -hmm. was probably old enough to be some of their grand, you know, a grandmother to some of them. And, <laughs> and so she connected with them. And that yes. was fun to watch that happen and unfold as well. So it's just a great connection point for a variety of reasons. They can connect with ministry leaders, but with other individuals that are going through the process other people that are already invested in the church. Mm -hmm. It's just a great way for folks to just get involved here at Cornerstone. And that, that table of young ladies, like I see them working at Renew. I yes. see them helping at Tribe. I see them on the prayer team. Like right. they got connected they and, and jumped in there and, and did that in first steps. Yes, very fun. Hey, one, once in a while, uh, to, once in a while, people will say, hey, um, this is different. So, so historically, um, Cornerstone, and, and maybe to a fault, like when we realize, hey, we could do this better, we just change it. Mm -hmm. And so like all the way back, you know, going back to my early time here, like I went through Cornerstone 101. Sure. Like that was the introduction class. And, and over the years, we've had like starting point and mm -hmm. next and pathway, and we've had first steps that stretched over a few weeks. Can, but, but just thinking about the relatively recent future of when we did like it was spread out over a week. Can you explain what is different now about First Steps than it was a, a year or so ago? Sure. So whenever I came on board here at Cornerstone, we revamped um, the whole process mm -hmm. then, went from Pathway to First Steps, took it to four, uh, from four, excuse me, down to three yep. weeks. And so we would have step one. It was a big production. We would have lunch. It was a great event. And then we would break off steps two and three into separate weeks. Like during the service, yes, right? Yes, okay, during yeah, the yeah. services. And what we found is that it was just a real struggle for a lot of folks mm -hmm. to try to get here three weeks in a row and sort of carve out that time for themselves to be able to come and complete first steps. Yes. So about six months ago or so, we revamped and we went to a one day model and it's mm -hmm. been phenomenal for our guests and for our new folks. Um, they can come. It's a one stop shop. They can come and they can learn everything that they need to know about first steps that day. Then, of course, we're always available as a resource afterwards. If they have questions, they can email, they can stop by and see us in the lobby, mm -hmm. whatever that looks like for them. But it was just a really great way for them to finish the first steps process. Yeah. As opposed to before where we might have folks that it would take a few months for them right. to finish up, or maybe they couldn't finish up at all because it just never worked with their time schedule. Yeah. And and here's here's what I love uh, about what the way you're leading first steps. One, you're you're innovating of saying, man, we're having a hard time getting people to be there three weeks in a row right. and it's spreading out. And, and we, we tried to be flexible with that and say, hey, if you miss one this month, grab the other one the next month. Sure. Uh, and so you're willing to innovate and say, hey, that that's not working well. But you're not treating first steps as a check the box. No. Like, hey, we're going to make it easier. Check this box so you can be a member. Get this over with. Right. Instead, now what you're doing is a, a one day event mm -hmm. and then you walk with them. You mm -hmm. stick with them. You yes. help make sure that they have found that place to be connected. Like people who know their name. Right. They're not just sitting in a chair. They have friends here who are on the journey with them. And they found a place that, that they are fulfilled using their God-given gifts and abilities. And they know what our church is, like what it means to worship here, what it means to, to be part of our church. And so, Jason, I want to thank you for innovating and being willing to adjust and then making sure that we don't leave people in the dust, that right. we continue to walk with them. All right. Well, is there anything else that I haven't I haven't asked you that you wanted to share about First Steps? No, it's if I could put in one last shameless plug, yes. you know, invite your friends, share it with folks that you yes. know. It's just such a great tool to help people follow Jesus, which is what we're all about here at Cornerstone. Yeah, it sure is. 
Jason, thank you for your ministry. Thank you for that infectious smile of yours and your passion for helping people take those steps. Uh, for for all of us, it's an incredible invitation, whether we've been here two weeks or two years or more, to jump in. Uh, if if you have been at a place where you're like, yeah, it's my church, but I, I've really not gotten involved, here's your invitation from Jason and me. Get get involved. And as you see people, uh, friends of yours, uh, and you know that, you know, basically right now it's just sitting in a service once a week, challenge them, help us yes. invite them into more, that they would take those steps into more, because this really is all about following Jesus. Jason, thanks for being part of this. It's such a pleasure to work with you and help others follow Jesus with you. Thank you. 